Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I figured we'd do a different type of video where I'm pretty much showing you how to soundproof a room or I'm really just showing you how I'm gonna soundproof my room. Not that I'm like an expert or anything, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Walmart right now. We're gonna get some 3M sticky things. They're like double-sided sticky things so that you can actually hang your um, soundproofing on the wall. And I'm also gonna show you how to expand your phone because when you order it from Amazon or wherever you're gonna order it from, a lot of times if it's not boxed right, it's gonna be squished because it's gonna be vacuum sealed. So I'm gonna show you how to expand it uh, with water and some soap and then also putting it in the dryer. So I figured this will be a fun video to do. Anyway, we're gonna head over to Walmart right now and get some stuff. <laughs> two of the black ones because they go better with the uh, color of the foam. All right, so our Walmart trip was successful. You don't wanna destroy your wall, so don't get adhesive spray. These 3M uh, command strips can really just be pulled off so they're not gonna ruin your wall. So that's huge. All right, so we just got back home, but before we talk about the uh, 3M command strips, I wanna talk about this, obviously. This is the foam paneling and it will come in a package like this and you need to either let it sit for like 24 hours, 36 hours, or you can get it wet and uh, put it in a dryer after, which is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we'll have some fun with that. You can see behind the computer is already pretty good. And uh, I have quite a bit of foam paneling behind there. Besides up there, probably gonna put some posters and stuff. Uh, I don't really think I need to go crazy up there because you know, at my house, I don't wanna go too crazy. And over here, I need two more rows of five. So I have 12 foam panels. We're gonna expand that right now and then we're gonna get to work. All right, so all the dishes are done and I cleared out a space over here. And what I did was lay down a towel because we're gonna be filling up this sink with water and a little bit of soap. And then we're gonna soak these inside there. So I have this little rubber stopper. We're gonna put that right in there. And we're just going to fill the sink up with some warm water. Now while we're doing that, we can open the package up. And then carefully cut this part with a knife. And a lot of times it actually tells you the instructions, but if you're like me, you don't look at them. Now, a lot of people get them like this and they think that they got ripped off, but that's not the case. You need to expand these in some water and then you need to let it dry either outside or put it in the dryer. I put it in the dryer because I am an instant gratification person and uh, I like to see it done quickly. This is supposed to be two inches thick. Obviously, if you look at it, it's not two inches thick. So we're gonna expand it right now. So you can really fill this up as much as you want. Uh, I'm gonna stop just for demonstrational purposes for the first one and I'll show you what happens to the foam. I'm gonna really submerge it. What you can see is already, it has expanded into two inches. The only problem is you have to squeeze it out real good and uh, just make sure that you do not rip it. This just looks like crap, it's not expanded. It's probably about one inch. This over here is two inches and it just looks a lot better. So when you're putting it up in the studio at your house, it's gonna look a lot more professional.
All right, so now we have all the foam done and that is a far cry from where it was before. So what we're gonna do is go downstairs, we're gonna put it in the dryer and uh, give it about 30 minutes, whatever, you know, and then we will uh, put it up on the wall. And now we wait. All right, so I just pulled these out of the dryer and they are dry, probably took about 45 minutes. What you wanna do though is sort of, see how it uh, sort of looks a little floppy? You wanna just pull that up with your hands to straighten it out. All right, so what we're gonna do is fill in this spot right here. So let's get started. All right, so what I do is usually just put one there and one here, or, you know, ideally you have four and put them in each corner, but if you can only afford two like me, then you can just do two in the corners too. That could help out, uh, but I just put them like this. Okay, so I'm talking against this wall and you can hear it just sounds very cheap. It sounds very harsh on your ears. Uh, hopefully you're listening with some headphones. I definitely recommend throwing on some headphones because now I'm gonna step over here and I'm talking the same way, just moving over. And you can hear that uh, my voice is a lot more clear. And that's gonna happen when you're recording vocals or guitar and stuff like that. You're not gonna have these reflections which in turn, you're gonna have a lot better sound quality from your microphone. You get a lot more out of it. But anyway, I thought this would be a really cool video to do, kind of to show you like a vlog style, what my day looked like today. Obviously I'm not doing stuff like this all the time, like fake vlogs, like, oh, hey, how you doing? No, but you know, today we uh, put some foam insulation up and whatnot, and I'm really excited about that because I've actually had this for a little while and I just didn't want to do it. So I figured why not just make a video so you guys actually help me to get this done. So I thank you. And uh, if you got something out of this video, please subscribe to the channel, helps out a ton. So we will uh, see you in the next one.